Hello, this is Kat Ng with LS and Tap, and I'll be walking you through the basic features of Camtasia Studio. Here I will be showing you everything you need to make your first video. So to start with, I've grabbed some footage and a picture from archive.org, all public domain. Let's drop them over into the clip bin and they'll automatically load up. In addition to being able to get external stuff, the library has a little bit of music and some themes. So here we can right click on things and click Add to Timeline at Playhead. When it drops it in on the first track, we can see we have a nice piece of music. With the clip in, we can do the same thing with a video if you want, or we can also just click and drag it down. As you see, it creates a new track and then drops this in at the point we let go. We want it over left, so we can just drag it over, and that should be perfect. Now we can see that there is some audio in the video and that's going to conflict with the audio from the music and we don't really want that so let's right click here separate video and audio and then delete this that way it'll be functionally a silent film and then finally we can take this picture and drop it here so now as we take the playhead and scrub through the video you can see the video is normal and then when we get to here the picture will overlay on top of the video the reason this is, is the picture is on a higher track than the video, so it will overlay it. If you want this here but don't want to see it right now because you want to work with the video below it, we can turn off this track and that'll hide everything on this track. We can do something similar down here and lock this track and then that will prevent this from being edited. But something else we might do is, for example, is select an area and then delete it. Notice again, below is protected, but here we have a video on one side, a video on another side, and then black space in the middle. And these are two separate clips now, so we can drag this around and do whatever we like with it. Here we can say unhide this, take this clip and drop it back down in there, and now we have... So now we have video with a picture in the middle. Suppose we want to remove some video but we don't want to deal with a black space and multiple clips. Well, so what we're here we can do is select what we want to eliminate as usual but this time hit the cut function. And so now as you can see this is still one clip and that's gone but this has just been slided over and sewn on so it is still one clip. On the other hand suppose you don't want to remove any content but you want to make it into two clips so you can edit it. For that you select the clip you want and hit split button and where the line is for the playhead is now two separate clips um, the undo button so we can we don't really need that many clips okay so now we have a picture but the jumps are pretty sharp so we might want to have some transitions between so what we do is we go to transitions and select the ones we want and to make this a little easier I'm gonna zoom in a little bit it zooms in on this so now we can see this area very easily let us grab the checkerboard and just drop it on top. So now when we play this, we get a checkerboard transition. If we want to make it shorter, we can shorten the duration. If we want to make it slower, lengthen it. And it will slowly do that. So for audio, we can edit the audio here. We need to unlock this track and then select it. And now we have all these options. The volume leveling is, can be quite handy for some projects. If you have multiple sources, for example, a couple people talking and some people are louder and some people are quiet, this will help normalize the sound. Um, noise removal is a little bit hit or miss from my experience. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. It's not going to cure really bad audio, but it can help. Volume up and volume down, just raise and lower it. If you don't select any specific area, it'll do the entire track. Whereas if you select this, you can say this section should be quieter, this section should be louder. You can also fade in and fade out. You do both that silence, so don't do that. Zoom pan is quite useful, so let us go to here. So now let's shrink this down. Let's say let's zoom in on here. So now at the end of this arrow on the track we will end up with this picture right here and at the start of the arrow we have the full image. So now you can watch as it goes through you zoom in. 
and it'll stay here until you change it. If you want to track, it's pretty much the same thing, but instead of shrinking this, you'll just move it. You get the same arrow, you can move the arrow around. Let's move it over, and there we go. Uh, we don't really need these though. Okay, and the last thing that's fairly useful is the callout. So maybe here, let's say we want to point out this guy right here. So let's click, go to callouts, let's click add a callout. Shake this up. And then we have this area here, so these are the fade in, and this is the fade out. So if, you sh if you want to shorten this, we can mess with it here. Make it fast. Then here you can rotate it. And then change the shape. And add text. So let's so point out this guy, because he's really important. Oh, whoops. we have pointed out that guy and there's many callouts so these sketch motion ones instead of fading in act as though they have been drawn as you can see so the final thing is the resolution up here so generally it will automatically select one for you based off of the, what you give it as far as the clip bin uh, sometimes you want your own but generally it's pretty good so you can select your custom height and width or go through here that is about it to editing your video so once you've finished editing your video, you can go to File, and Produce and Share. And what you do here is if you have a YouTube account or something else you'd like to upload it to, you can select it right here, and it'll, it'll give you a account information, and it'll automatically put it all the way up, or you can just simply produce a file, which you can then disseminate how you like. And that just about wraps things up. Thank you for watching, and I'd like to extend a thank you to LSC, whose grant made this video possible. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and please check out our other videos. Thank you.